We are a sister duo and the co-founders of Anenta Design Studio. It's us being able to showcase African craftsmanship. Our pieces bring so much joy to a space. They're colorful with different textures. It's just an exciting piece to have in any living space. The heart of Ananta is creativity and humanity. And as a design studio, we feel we are in a powerful position to create change in the craft sector. So our purpose is to use our design skills for social impact, creating employment, empowerment and upliftment within local craft communities. A lot of the artisans we work with are women and they live in the townships like Kalicha. So these are all beaded by Pumla Mramba from her home in Kalicha. And these ladies, they get to bead and crochet from home while looking after their family and their kids. Our environment definitely influences our creative process. Our space is filled with lots of color, various materials, beads, sequins, various craft techniques. And we're constantly getting crazy ideas all the time. I'm trying to think, what do you call this? <laughs> it's our like, um, inspiration board, a material board. <laughs> so this is our pin board where a lot of our um, craft samples are. This is all the weaving, different inspiration, being surrounded by us just gets our creativity going and our imaginations. Once we have an, our, our idea, we put it down onto paper, think about sizes, proportions, design the patterns, bead, colour choices. That's a big part of our process. We love colour. <laughs> This is our work studio, so this is where we prepare all the products before they go to our crafters and then package the products here. We use eco-friendly packaging, which just adds to the environmental impact. So here we have all our electricals, our um, MDF parts, so this is the vase bases that we use. We give the colours, we do a template for the beaders and then it goes to the townships to get beaded. As a creative entrepreneur, being part of the Creation Africa Mentorship Program was huge for us. We know the creative process, we know how to create beauty, we know how to design, but actually learning the business side of things is really challenging. So now we're actually learning how to run a business, structure things, do things strategically, which is really empowering for us. Some advice for aspiring entrepreneurs, you'll never be completely ready, you'll never be fully prepared, but the biggest step you can take is just to start. It's so much about courage to start something, the faith to know it will work out. And then at some point it turns into excitement and fulfillment. And for us that's been really rewarding. Do you have a favorite piece? <laughs> <laughs> we love them all. <laughs>